Hey guys, Mo here, and today I want to take a look at streaming from Spotify on the Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi is an awesome little single board computer, and it's really useful for a lot of different purposes, from entertainment like streaming movies, TV shows, and music, to gaming, and even using it for office productivity. In fact, I like to use my Raspberry Pi a lot for just a basic lightweight energy efficient desktop PC. And one thing I like to do when I'm writing is listen to music. And I was initially disappointed that I wasn't able to natively stream Spotify on the Raspberry Pi. And that's because you need Widevine DRM support in a browser and the Chromium browser initially didn't support Widevine. However, a subsequent update as of March 2021 saw Widevine DRM support as an official package in Raspberry Pi OS. So it's really easy to install and it'll let you stream from Spotify in the Chromium web browser. So if you don't have Widevine installed and you try to stream from Spotify, you're going to get this error that you need to enable secure playback in your browser. And luckily, it's pretty easy to go ahead and get Widevine installed. So before we actually install Widevine, what we first want to do is just go ahead and run an update. So just run sudo apt-get update. And next up, run sudo apt-get upgrade. And now our system should be up to date. So with our system up to date, now we just want to go ahead and install Widevine. And now Widevine should be successfully installed. However, there's still one more step, and that's to go ahead and reboot your Raspberry Pi. Let's go ahead and select Reboot, wait for it to power back up, and then go ahead and launch Spotify. And as you can see here, Spotify is running really well on the Raspberry Pi. Previously, it wouldn't even load, and now you can actually get to the Spotify web player. And music streaming works really well. You can play anything that's in your library. You can stream music, podcasts, whatever, and that streaming doesn't really take up a lot of resources on the Pi itself. So you can pretty easily multitask. Ladies and gentlemen, this time around, the revolution will not be televised. All right, guys, that is pretty much it. This has been how to stream Spotify on the Raspberry Pi. It's a really easy fix. 
And once you get Widevine installed, you'll actually be able to stream from a lot of video platforms as well, like Netflix, Disney Plus, and Hulu. So if you've got a Raspberry Pi and you're using it for a desktop, I'd highly recommend getting Widevine installed because it's going to unlock a lot of different capabilities and let you stream a lot of videos and music that you otherwise wouldn't be able to. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to give your life a tech up.